Hey guys, welcome back to the Graphics Fair YouTube channel. My name is Sheena and you probably know me as Luna Rozu. Um, this month, or basically this week actually, I will be showcasing my November Design Team project for the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership site. Um, this time around, I decided to do a, a sort of a mini envelope collection. Um, you'll see as we go along, there's still room to journal in and whatnot, so let's get started. So the first mini envelope, and this one, this, these two mini envelopes actually, these are from the Graphics Fairy. They're actually pre, sort of uh, pre-designed envelopes that you can print up and then you just cut along the edges and voila, you have this gorgeous envelope to start, you know, sort of uh, putting your creative spin on it. And this time, I decided to go with a bit of lace fabric here. Really pretty, just a bit of a grungy, so I just tore it off and then um, I added this cute little bell charm there and then just added a stamp, some text. Most of the text that you see, I used to embellish the journals, are actually from the Graphics Fairy as well. They are part of, I think, the um, Script Ephemera collection. I'll list them down all in the blog post down below. Um, so there you have it. And then on the back, just did a bit of embellishing and then I tore it a little just to give it that sort of a uh, vintage grunge look and on the inside of this little envelope well, let me just put this here on the inside of this envelope um, I've just added a bit of uh, an ephemera sheet here from a vintage book that I have and then here you have this is from their latest collection I think it's the pastel Christmas one so um, they're supposed to be, I guess, sort of like journaling cards, but I printed them out like that. And then I sort of perforated the, the middle sections right here. So, so it opens up into sort of like a ticket. So you can actually, you know, choose which one you want to journal in and then tear it out and then sort of um, embellish your traveler's notebook and whatnot. Um, yeah, and sort of put it where you want to. And then that comes in this little pretty envelope. I love this one. Really, really love that one. And then, let me just put this here on this side. And then for this one, um, I added this little charm here, the snowflake. And then it's just, um, again, embellishing your envelopes with fabric is such a, such a great idea. I absolutely love it. Um, I added a Christmas stamp as well left here empty so you can sort of a journal sort of the um the day or about the day or the contents of this little mini envelope and on the back it looks like that and on the inside of this one we have so from the mini um, mini ephemera bundle collection i printed out this three little tags here that you can use for your journals. I thought they were really, really cute. I love having mini tags. Um, I think they just add a lot to the, you know, basically any junk journal that you have. And then I just added some of my personal pattern papers in here so that you could have sort of a more journaling space and sort of different visual textures to, to add to your sort of a Christmas journaling. Oh, and also before I forget, with uh, most of the envelopes, I actually printed double-sided. So the first side, I will print out sort of the envelope itself, the designed ready-made one. And then on the back, I sort of chose one of the designs from the Graphics Fairy. It's um, either on the, um, the pattern papers or whatnot. And then, so you would have this sort of um, I guess inner lining on the inside, which I love. I think it just sort of adds so much to the uh, the envelope instead of sort of um, blank on the inside and things like that. So in case you don't have access to pattern paper, I think that's a great way to, you know, sort of um, embellish and, you know, it's easy access. All you need is a printer. And that is for this one. And then I have also included, this is from um, my personal, I just added a photo because I thought it was cute. This is uh, an authentic um, vintage um, French letter, I think. So I've just embellished it, put a little script here from a children's book, and then I did a pretty wax seal right there. 
And on the inside of this little mini envelope, um, there is the authentic um, French letter that comes with the envelope. And also, these are from the graphics fair as well. So you can journal on the back of that one. I thought that was really, really cute. So that one goes into this envelope. And then, this is a postcard, a really pretty postcard. Um, it's authentic, I just thought it just adds um, a beautiful layer to the collection. So that is there. And then this one is also one of these postcard books that I did. But instead of having postcards on the inside, I decided to use the, um, the Graphics Fairy... Uh, forgot again the name of the collection but it's one of the Christmas ones and they have all these pre-made bingo cards which are super cool super pretty I've always wanted to have um, bingo cards and I thought they were like the perfect thing to sort of um, add a bit of Christmas cheer to in a, just a normal postcard book with sceneries and things like that um, so I've just added this really cute charm here a bell a key and a candy cane and then this is from the graphics fair as well this little tag here so you can journal on the inside so yeah so if you decide to say use this one you can actually just you know tear it out because i've just perforated along the edges right there so that is that one i really really love this one again the images are super cute and these are actually resized um if you have a printer you can just do that um Anyhow you want, you can make it smaller or bigger, it's all up to you. And then the next one that we have is this one right here. Hold on. So this one here is um, this uh, sort of background paper right here. This is also from the Graphics Fairy. Um, this is from one of their paper collection bundles. So. I didn't use any coffee stain papers this time around to make the envelopes. I decided to just use the ones on the graphics fair. So I printed both sides full um, full page. So the inside I printed with this gorgeous um, plate pattern green, and then the outside is um, one of these uh, stain papers. I'll again list down the bundle in the blog post. Um, and then we have this script here again. It's also from the Graphics Fairy. I've used it to just to add um, a bit of text, visual texture again to the page. This one also from the Graphics Fairy. I think it's one of their um, tags, Christmas tags. So just to again add color to the whole journal right there. Um, bit of uh, fabric here, really pretty, just to, you know, gold, just to give sort of that Christmas feel to it. And then I just went over the envelope with some um, white gesso right there. So I wanted to go with that sort of snowy effect for this particular envelope. And then just a little cute ribbon right there. And on the inside of this one, we have... Um, again, a few tags from the graphics fairy that you can use to embellish your traveler's notebook. Um, a little cute, two little cute pieces of Santa wish list also from the graphics fairy. Then I've just um, sort of um, back the uh, uh, back of the page with some of my personal um, pattern papers, and then this one is from one of the children's books. So I really love, I, this is my first time using um, white gesso and I think, I think it kind of turned out great. So I, I'm really happy with it. Um, and then this one is also, um, decided to go with a bit of white gesso again just to give that snowy effect on this one. Um, graphics fairy, graphics fairy as well. Just a bit of embellishing here with some buttons and some sequins right there. And also again, the background paper for this one, um, this checkered one, is also from the Graphics Fairy and then the inside, I've just printed it, the really beautiful one right there. So I thought it would give, you know, again, Christmas feel to things. And on the inside of this one, this is from the Graphics Fairy as well. I just decided to include a cute little die cut here. And then inside here, we also have some tags also from the graphics series, this is just embellished from my own collection. 
and then this one is also from the graphics fairy so many graphics fairy things to choose and use um you will go crazy really so hard to choose um this one i just made into a little pocket because the back is um leisure paper so the excess paper i just flipped up and then sewn around the edges just to sort of make it a little pocket and then you can journal on the back of that one right there um some vintage recipe cards right there and then these are some of my personal ephemera pieces right there so some receipts some stamps and then this is a really cute christmas recipe right there and then let's see and then this one is um uh an authentic uh envelope so i just added a cute little christmas charm there on this little uh, uh, pin there and then on the back i embellished with a bit of wax seal and then sort of this gorgeous um sari trim right there red of course to go with christmas and on the inside of this one we have um some vintage photos here uh, authentic ephemera ticket right there and this is the love letter that comes with the envelope itself and then I've just added a few more bits of, of ephemera pieces and then these are some of my favorite personal favorite um, holiday postcards I thought that was really cute I wanted to give a variety of those here so that's that there and then Finally, I decided with all this, I wanted to sort of include more journaling space just in case. Um, so I decided to make sort of a sort of a mini notebook right here. So this is a fabric cover, and then on the inside there are just um, coffee stain papers, and then this vintage receipt paper here. As you can tell, this is also from the Graphics Fairy. I just printed it front and back with sort of two different images so you sort of again have your own pattern paper and then everything else is just from my personal ephemera collection and also um, some coffee stain paper so just in case you want to do extra journaling this is um, where you would probably do it and you could use the um, images or the you could use the images inside the envelopes to embellish your little journal right there so guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini collection that I did. I had so much fun doing this. All the colors are just like so bright and I absolutely love it. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video and enjoy. Bye.